In court, Zach Davis said he regretted his actions, but his grin and wave yesterday to the cameras outside suggested a 26-year-old rather enjoying the attention. It has been claimed that I, Rockers88, am not real. When I assure you, my good men and one or two women, I am very real. This was Davis filming himself at home nine months before he walked into Tesco's and with this machete tried to hack to death a young dentist just because, as Davis would say, he looked Asian. His victim, Dr. Sarandev Bambra, wasn't at court, but his brother spoke on behalf of the family. Dr. Sarandev Singh Bambra is a British Sikh born in Leeds. He's a young man that we are immensely proud of and has just started out on his chosen career path as a dentist and was initially based in North Wales. We are no doubt, given the racial and political motivations, that this should have been rightly defined as an act of terrorism. By his own admission, the defendant, Zach Davies, had extreme neo-Nazi views and is a member of a white supremacist organisation. We are in no doubt, had the racial disposition of this case been reversed, this would have been reported as an act of terror with a wider media coverage. Zach Davis was, by his own admission, fascinated by violence, seduced by the warped ideologies of white supremacists, but equally captivated by the beheading tactics of Islamist extremists. Jihadi John, he said, an inspiration. He'd been watching execution videos on the 14th of January before he left his home in Mould. When he couldn't find his initial target, his mother's partner, he lined up Dr. Bambra, who just happened to be passing by. This is Davis following Dr. Bambra, who's out of shot, into Tesco's. In his rucksack, he has a knife, claw hammer and machete. He used the hammer to begin with. Dr. Bambra said the impact of the first blow was indescribable. He tried to run, desperately throwing items from the shelves around him. But Davis pursued him and, according to witnesses, just kept hacking at him with the machete. One woman said she heard Davis shout, white power during the attack. Another who was there with her four-year-old daughter heard him say, justice for the whites. Another heard him shout, come here, this is for Lee Rigby. Lee Rigby, the soldier killed in a brutal knife attack outside his barracks in London two years ago. I did it for him, Zach Davis kept saying. Dr. Bambra had extensive wounds all over. The machete had cut through his shoe. One hand was barely attached. It could have been a lot worse had it not been for an ex-soldier called Peter Fuller who intervened to stop it, as this witness recalls. Peter actually asked him to put the weapons, weapons down and he did so calmly. He just placed the weapons on the floor st and stood there and when, when the police came to arrest him he just put his hands out to be arrested. It was like something had taken over him. In the witness box, Davis, surrounded by no fewer than five custody officers, quietly spoken, articulate, described how he held contradictory views, but there was only one group which he openly admitted membership of. In these images he posted online just hours before the attack, his balaclava clad, knife in hand, and posing in front of a flag bearing the symbol N.A. They call themselves National Action, a far-right group formed its thought in 2013 and filmed here in Newcastle by Channel 4 News four months ago. A war is brewing. It is inevitable. We are not the ones responsible for instigating it, but we will be the ones fighting it. And we Wait. will fight! Wait. 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 Evidently keen on their martial arts drills, they describe themselves as Britain's premier nationalist street movement. These National Action stickers were found in Zach Davis's home, along with a copy of Mein Kampf and White Power. What role, if any, he played within the group is unclear, but their apparent blend of neo-Nazi ideology and so-called white jihadi training methods, they posted this on YouTube, clearly resonated with him. There's a deliberate attempt by extremes to wind the other one up. And it plays in, into their mindset, you know, because it's about violence, it's about destabilising, it's about pitting community against community. So we are seeing a rise of it, and I think, you know, certainly that, that is of deep concern to us. And dealt with in the context of terrorism, repeated the family of Zach Davis's victim, Sarandev Bambra, before they ended with this message. Ethnic minorities have and continue to contribute positively to the multicultural Britain of 2015. 
and indeed Sikhs have sacrificed their lives in both world wars to facilitate the freedom that Britain enjoys today. May I conclude that racial intolerance is a thing of the past and should not be accepted in any society. Thank you. Oh, Zach Davis will be sentenced later this year.